What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk about something that is a question on a lot of people's minds and I've seen it asked throughout many communities as well as my own and I've sort of been holding off on addressing this video for a while but I'm going to do it now. Since I recently uploaded reaching top 10 globally in the Athena's rank I figured now would be a perfect time to talk about it and show you guys how I made that possible. So in this video I'm going to break down the method that was used which in turn is also the quickest way you can reach the max level in the Athena's rank. Now there's a lot of information to unpack in this video so please sit back relax watch this entire video and hopefully you will learn the tips tricks and methods used to get yourself Athena's 20 as quick as possible. And just quickly if you could leave a like on this video to show your support that would be absolutely amazing. It's not a lot but it means a lot to me. Thank you all so much for your support. Also if you are confused or you just want to talk please post your comments down in the description. That being said I'm going to get into it. So for this method you're going to need to go ahead and get yourself some Thieves Haven runs. These can be unlocked and bought via doubloons. They won't cost you any money whatsoever. Now this is very important, you have at least two people to do this. You can do it solo, but it's going to be extremely slow and quite tedious. To make this method really fly, you need at least two people, but of course, the more the merrier, the methods might change. As well as a Thieves Haven run, you need to get yourself an Athena's Emissary. That can be done by clicking on the little Athena's Emissary ship right next to the Mysterious Stranger inside the tavern. Now these Thieves Haven runs only take place on four islands. The core island of this is going to be through Thieves Haven. The secondary islands are going to be Devil's Ridge, Crook's Hollow, and Snake Island. If you can mark them out, to start that will make your life a little bit easier but they are really close and all centered around plunder outpost now for the first chapter of the thieves haven run you're going to need to get all of your crew over to thieves haven to complete the first part once completing chapter one you need to assign one person to permanently live on thieves haven the rest of your crew is going to be going to wherever chapter two is located this can be any of the islands previously mentioned so you'll have a look for devil's ridge crooks hollow or snake isle there's no real order on what it's going to go to but one of those islands would definitely be on the list while holding the one person on thieves haven send the rest of your your crew over to the next island that is chapter two. Chapter two is always going to have a riddle that spawns on it. No matter where you're going, you'll know for a fact you have to do a riddle. As well as the riddle, you'll notice there's going to be a green skeleton that will spawn on you after completing the dig. That skeleton will drop an Athena skull, so if you do want to get it, I'd suggest you bring a lantern ready to go. After digging up the riddle and completing chapter two, as well as getting that green skeleton on your boat, chapter three is going to prog and it's going to take you back to Thieves Haven. Now, since you already left a member of your crew over on Thieves Haven, what you can do is hold your position on the chapter two island. If you have more than two people sailing, it probably would be wise to leave one person on that island while the boat sails off somewhere in the middle of all four islands. Once the person on Thieves Haven has completed their second round of digs, what you'll need to do is send the crew over to the third island and complete the riddle yet again. This is going to be very similar to chapter 2, except the only difference is you're going to find a red skeleton will spawn on you that will also drop an Athena's skull. Once completing this chapter, it'll throw you onto the final chapter that takes you back to Thieves Haven. This is where the person who was on Thieves Haven will do their final task and complete those digs. While they're doing that, start sorting out your loot and getting some free spots ready so you can put some of the Athena loot from Thieves Haven back on your boat. Get everyone who's not on Thieves Haven to return to the boat and sail back over, that way you can collect the loot once they're done. Once you have put all of the loot back on your boat, you're going to notice you've reached Emissary 3 or 4. From this point on, you're going to want to repeat the method again one more time, keeping people on Thieves Haven and having a crew alternate between different islands. There's really no reason you need more than one person on Thieves Haven. If the person who you left on the island before struggled, now would be a really good time to have someone else go on Thieves Haven and complete the digs. Since Thieves Haven is likely the hardest part of this entire voyage, get the best member of your crew on there to do all of the digs, and then you should be pretty fine. You're going to notice throughout doing this mission you will obtain emissary level 5 you don't really want to do anything about it right away just keep that there and push on with the method if by pure chance you don't reach level 5 all you need to do is take on something like a skeleton ship or a megalodon and that'll propel your level to 5 no matter what obtaining level 5 is important but you don't want to act on it just yet complete the method make your way back to thieves haven to collect all the loot for a second time then you'll need to switch it up a little now from this point on you're going to need to set down your third thieves haven run and see to completing those emissary challenges. Most of the time you're going to find the Athena emissary is going to take you to either Sharkbait Cove, Plunder Valley, Fool's Lagoon, or Old Salt's Atoll. It can take you to a few other places, but they're the main ones that we seem to find them gravitate towards. While the person on Thieves Haven is completing those voyages, get the rest of your crew to go over and defeat each emissary quest, whether it be the skeletons, the digs, or the riddle. For example, while the person on Thieves Haven is completing chapter one, head on over and do one of the emissary quests. Take your crew over to complete chapter 2. Once chapter 3 spawns, 
go ahead and complete the next emissary quest and then you get the idea from there just rinse and repeat until you get all of it done if you have done all this efficiently you're going to notice around the same time you dig up that athena's chest and the athena's keg you'll notice everything at thieves haven is ready to be picked up this whole process would have taken you around an hour to two hours to complete maybe a bit longer if you are not the most experienced crew and you are doing this for your first time but don't worry now is the time to sell collect everything you've obtained from thieves haven and the emissary voyages and take them over to plunder outpost to sell and reset your emissary rank at this point you would have gotten a fair bit of xp and a fair amount of emissary level what you can do here is re-raise your emissary flag and repeat this method over and over again of course the more times you repeat this method the more loot you're going to get out of it and the higher level you're going to unlock now at this point you may be thinking sure this is a great idea but it takes a lot of time I agree, this method does take a lot of time, but it's definitely the most efficient in the way of what loot you get. For example, with Ashen Athenas, you'll find you only get one bit of loot to pay off for that. And with normal Athenas, it's the same thing. You may get a couple crates every now and then, but they're not really important in the grand scheme of things. Comparatively, this will always be the best way to make your Athena levels aside from stealing them. The reason I say that is because you always are going to get confirmed items from Thieves Haven runs, but on top of that, you do get the chance to spawn normal Athena's chests as well. Granted, they are pretty rare, but nevertheless, it's still a chance you can unlock them. The only real downside to this method is that you may find it a bit of a PvP hotspot. Most of the time when people are jumping around to steal Athena's, the first place they're going to check will be Thieves Haven. Having someone alert of all ships' positions is definitely not a bad idea and won't make you seem paranoid because it is possible you may run into some people trying to steal your loot at the end of the day. Don't let that deter you though, at the end of the day there's nothing wrong with PvP, worst case scenario you will learn something new and maybe get better at your combat. Aside from an increased chance of PvP, there's nothing that's really considered as halting or hindering to this method. To be really efficient at this though, you're going to want to set aside a day or so and maybe even get some more crews in to help you out as well. This was the exact same method I used to reach top 10 globally in Athena rank over the course of four days. Granted, it was with a few other crews. If you guys did help out for that, thank you so much for your support and your efforts. But nevertheless, that whole time got a ton of people to Athena's rank 20. I myself in one session got from rank 18 to rank 20, and that is just the first session. There's no doubt in my mind that this is the most effective and efficient way you can unlock Athena's 20 in the least amount of time possible. The video that I've been playing in the background is essentially what it looks like when you are doing this to its best ability. Hopefully it was there to add as some sort of aid to make this just a little bit easier if you are trying to follow along at home. If you do manage to reach Athena's 20 from this method, please let me know down in the comment section and tell me your progress. Now I know I can't answer everybody's questions and I'm sure some of you may have questions after watching this video. What I suggest you do is post them down in the comment section and I'll reply to them as soon as I can. Alternatively, maybe go ahead and join the Discord that's linked down in the description if you do have any more questions. And finally, if you do want to see me do more things like this live and get your hands on some free things I'm giving away, feel free to check me out on Twitch. I'm streaming there four times a week. With that being said, if you do want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to show your support. And with all of that out of the way, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.